early morning on the Liberty Clipper, and life is good. We got out to meet the sunrise each day with a hot cup of coffee up on deck, taking in the smell of the fresh ocean breeze and the smell of what Jan was working on for breakfast. Have you always loved, loved to cook? <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> so what are you doing in here then? You know, this is the, um, the best spot on the whole boat, I think, because you just get so much appreciation and love. You fill everybody's bellies and uh, they think you're awesome. So it's hard, but uh, relaxing, fulfilling, wonderful wonderful place to spend your time, you know? Plus, look at the view. Can you beat that? Yeah. Okay, so we're on board. Here's our room. Um, we got a lower, like, single bunk, and then we've got a, a, a top bunk that we can both fit on. Got a little sink here, um, personal fan. It's all you need. It's amazing. Right. So which bunk is mine? Well, I thought we were both gonna be on this bunk. Oh, oh, awesome. Unless you piss me off and then that's yours. <laughs> so yeah, we really loved our cabin, but it doesn't really matter because on deck is where you wanna spend most of your time. And it's where after breakfast, the clipper comes alive. Stand by the sheet out your board. Cheese six, oh! Cheese six, oh! Oh, oh, oh! across the waves, you can't help but feel a sense of excitement and wonder and joy. Best of all, you know it means you're headed off on a new adventure, and you can't wait to see what the day brings. Meantime though, if you want, you can find a spot on deck, kick back, relax, and do a whole lot of absolutely nothing. Or if you want, you can go looking around for a little adventure. Get a little itchy down here on deck, so John here has agreed to um, elevate, take, aloft. take us aloft. We're going uh, up to get a bird's eye view of the clipper. You can be careful. Oh, right? it's going to be great. Careful. Um, what's, what is careful? Yeah, it's not while we're here. <laughs> Typically, you know, people will ask, uh, come on a schooner like this and ask where the crow's nest is. But traditionally said, um, schooners did not have crow's nests. A lot of the schooners would have cross yards. They'd be square rig schooners, uh, topsail schooners. And the crew would actually uh, just go and sit on that yard for their comfort. Yeah, even if heights don't normally bother you, sit up here for a while and see if it doesn't completely freak you out. Well, what do you think about yeah, not that? That's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and from there, the adventure just gets better and better. It is the old speech in the <laughs> He's so full of shit. <laughs> We're hunting lionfish. That wasn't bad, was it?
And as the sun goes down every night, you're treated to an experience that you can only find in a place like this. better way to end the day than an incredible dinner with a group of total strangers who, for a week anyway, become as close as family. I just been in here. I can smell it. It's wee wee. Oh, really? We need to put this in proper context. This is an adult program. You did get that on camera. <laughs> this is what happens. To the liberty clippers. I liked everything about this cruise. I mean, I've wanted to do this for 20 years. This was on my bucket list. So um, I, I'm just thrilled that we got to do it. The crew was special. They were wonderful. What I loved about this ship was the crew. Uh, they definitely made you feel like a part of the crew. And it just, I felt like home. And yeah, even if there's no place like home, there are few places we'd rather be than here.